my organization has put forward the idea that access to the internet is a human right. So that, you know, it's, it's not like, um, w well, without access to the internet, your free speech uh, capacities are so diminished compared to if you have access uh, that, you know, realization of the right to freedom of expression requires access to the internet, including freedom of expression includes accessing information and your voice, so the two sides of, of freedom of expression. In the U.S., it's only seen as sort of free speech, but freedom of expression under international law is both getting and giving information. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the, the next billion and the, the next uh, two billion after that, I think, with three billion left to go, I mean, for us, it's a human right, and that, that has to happen, and we have written quite a lot about the responsibilities of states and also the responsibilities of um, especially access providers, but other intermediaries as well, uh, to do that, to help with that, you know, to roll some of their profits into, you know, for example, eliminating pricing differentials between rural and urban customers. Often it's cheap to provide access in the cities and it's expensive to provide it in the rural areas. Uh, and our argument is, well, the profits you're making in the, rural, in the urban areas need to eliminate that gap because otherwise, you know, because there are multi multitude of barriers to access of which cost is an important one.